years. A returning Apollo capsule would deploy its first drogue parachutes while still 25,000 feet up and traveling at 320 miles an hour. Then at 10,000 feet and still traveling at over 160 miles an hour, the main chutes would be opened. For a safe landing, these giant canopies would need to survive unprecedented speeds without shredding, to slow down the spacecraft to less than 20 miles an hour. No program before or since has ever had a parachute that was so thoroughly tested. With the designs perfected, it was time to manufacture them. There's approximately a half acre of very lightweight nylon fabric. We call it ripstop. In each main parachute, there's uh, approximately two million stitches. The suspension lines are uh, a mile and a half long. It takes about a week to pack this very, very, very tightly under hydraulic presses. And when we finished, the density of the fabric was like maple wood. These ladies took great pride in what they did. They all seemed to understand more than many of us that their sewing was the last uh, important step in uh, returning these astronauts safely home. On the 22nd of October, 1968, after 11 days in space, the first astronauts to ride the Apollo Command Module returned to Earth on the finest parachutes ever made.